Hey, welcome back to Check Out the Rileys. Today, me and Dorteo has a project that we want to show you. So check this out. So Dorteo has been collecting pesos. So he has a little coin uh, collector. <laughs> I want to call it something else, but he might not like what I call it. Uh, but it's a Pokemon and puts all his coins that he gets in there. Now let me explain to you a little bit where he gets these coins. Sometimes uh, he'll ask us for maybe change that we have or change that we laid down. Uh, also, if he finds it throughout the house, such as uh, laying on the floor somewhere or uh, on, tables. on a table or something, he will ask, uh, is it okay if he has it? So so that's <laughs> where he's collecting all this from. Yes. Uh, we we yeah. We recently had um, some guests staying with us, and uh, they made it rain, <laughs> if you will, uh, pesos around the house. So uh, Doroteo had a fun time collecting. So let's see how much we have here. Are you ready, Doroteo? Yes. So we finally got it all separated here, and this is a great exercise for him, you know, since, uh, and for me as well, identifying the coins. Uh, here in the Philippines, the coins kind of look different. I'll show you some of the examples uh, that we have here. So this is a 20 peso piece. It's uh, one of their newer, newer pieces. See how it says 20 pesos on it? Two-tone, it's kind of easy to tell what it is. So that's a new coin here. Now this one here, is a 10 peso. It's a two-tone with a copper center and uh, sorry that it's not focusing too well to show you. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like anyway. That's a 10. But this is also a 10, which is a plain coin with the 10 on there. <laughs> so there's different types of the same, same money, right? So with the fives, you got coins that look something like this. But you also got them that look like this. They're all five pesos. Um, the one pesos, uh, they're mostly uh, pretty pretty uh, standard looking. Uh, they may be older or newer, but they have the one on there. Size, the sizers are so very close that, you know, it's hard to tell a five from a ten. You see, it's so it's the same, same size, right? So you can't just go by sizes here. Um... So what we do is separate them so he can uh, count them out a little easier. We'll start with the big ones, the 20s, go to the 10s, the 5s. And then for the 1 pesos, he has them separated into 5s, except for our last little pile of 4 here. That way he can count it by 5s and uh, and uh, be able to do it pretty good. What? what? What's that noise you're making? I'm just trying to count. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. He's going he's gonna to count it out as I uh, tell him here. So you'll see how we do it. Are you ready? It's fun stuff. Stay around. See what his grand total is. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, I mean, 100, 100, 110, and 120, good job, so he's up to 120 so far, just with the 20s and, and the 10s, so here we go, you want to count these as 5s or 10s, 10s, okay, 
So we are at 120. And thirty. Thirty. One hundred and. One hundred and forty. One hundred and. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and. Seventy. One hundred and. Sixty. One hundred and. Eighty. One hundred and. Hmm. Ninety. And then we jump up to. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred and two hundred and ten. Two hundred and two hundred and that was ten. Two hundred. Two hundred and twenty. That's right. Now you want to count these as fives or tens? Fives. Okay. So we're at two twenty. Now two twenty and two twenty. Daddy. Well, if we're counting by tens, it's two thirty. Oh. Okay. Do you want to count by fives or tens? <laughs> Five. Okay, so two twenty to. Two twenty-five. Uh, daddy. Daddy, five. Forty. Four. Four. 45, 50, 55, 50, 60, 60, 70, 65, 70, 70, plus, 270, plus, plus how many? Hundred seventy three. Hundred seventy. Three, three, four. Uh, you gotta start at seventy. Seventy one. Seventy. Two seventy four. Two seventy four. Let's. I'm gonna recount it real quick to make sure that's what it was because we might have said five there. I, let me let me re redo it here. A few moments later. So 274 is what he has. So 274 pesos. So now that you're rich, that you have 274 pesos, what is your plan to do with all these pesos? Should I get a phone cover for my phone doesn't have any tracks anymore? So he has some scratches in his screen, and he wants to replace the screen protector. Uh, <laughs> no, the, I just want to cover it for He wants a cover for... Like his grandparents have on their phones, where it covers up the phone so it won't get scratches. Is that correct? And any cracks. Or cracks. So that's his big plans with his big money. And also, it's a holder. And it's also a holder. So he is uh, he's dreaming here of what he's going to do with his riches. But thank you, everybody, for watching. Check out the Rileys. Checking out Dorteo. Counting all his loot. We do this, uh, he tries to get me to recount it every time he finds a peso um, with him, but uh, I make him hold off for a couple days, and then we recount it, so, right? Yes. But this is good practice for him, you know, learning money, learning uh, counting skills, and we change it up all the time. Sometimes I make him do count fives, count tens, you know, so I switch it back and forth and uh, try to get him to really practice, so. till next time, everybody, you got anything to tell him before we go? Don't forget to like and subscribe. All Check right. out the Awesome, awesome. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.